Yes, I'm going to sacrifice my dignity in order to show you exactly how to go about pooping and peeing in your car if you don't have any other option. You're welcome. As you can see, I have turned my car camper back into my everyday car until my next trip. Before we get into how to poop and pee in your car, let's talk about toilet paper. This is your average roll of toilet paper, or loo roll as they say in the UK. We all know all about toilet paper, right? But there is another option, especially if you're a girl. You may have heard of them, but have never used one, and that is a pee cloth. These are just little rags or cloths that you can use to dry yourself off after you pee. It means you don't have to use as much toilet paper. This one is just a little flannel cloth. It's been surged around the edges, so it's nice and tidy. It doesn't need to be any bigger than this, really. The one I used when I was in the car, as well as when we're hiking, is a Norwex microfiber cloth. Norwex cloths are kind of special. They're microfiber cloth, but they're not like the ones you buy at the store. You have to order these online or from a consultant. They are infused with silver, which kills germs. So whatever you're wiping with this, whether it's yourself or your kitchen counter or your bathroom counter or your toilet seat, whatever you're using this to clean, you don't need any cleanser with it. It kills germs all by itself. It disinfects itself. So you use it and you can hang it up. And I hung mine up on the little handles above the doors. I just hooked it up there on a little hook that's there. And no smell, no problem. When I got home, I just chucked it in the wash. I really like the Norwex products. I use them in my house, at the cabin, and in the RVs. I highly recommend looking into Norwex cloths if you care about the environment and are trying to cut down on the chemicals you use to clean. But this makes a really good pea cloth. Highly recommend it. Let's deal with going number one or peeing first because it's more likely that you are going to need to go pee in your car at some point. This is what I use. It's a little expandable bottle that holds quite a bit of pee and is easy to clean, doesn't take up a lot of space, and seals nice and tight when you're finished using it. To expand it, you need to open the top and pull down on the bottom. And you want to do this before you go pee. You don't want to open this while you're peeing or after you've peed in it, because by then, it's too late. Now you have all of this space to pee in. The top, as you can see, is curved to fit around your body. Now, this is designed for women, but men obviously can also use it. My husband has used this. I have used this. We actually have two, so we each have our own. They're really, really easy to use. You can use it standing up. You can also use it while crouching in your car like I have, and I'm gonna show you how I go about doing that. As you can see, there's not a lot of headroom in my car. So I have to be able to use this method while I'm crouched down, not able to stand up or even kneel upright. The highest point in the roof of my car is more towards the center. So I'm going to crawl back there and show you exactly how I pee in my car. I take the bottle and you'll see it's flexible. You can turn it whichever way you want to. And that is part of the key of using this in a car. Make sure the lid is facing away from you. This is how I use it in the car. I curve the bottle part away from me, the same direction as the lid. And then I take the curved part and I fit it against my body. And I can be squatting in the car and I can pee quite comfortably. I do advise having your toilet paper ready before you even start. So let's talk about pooping in the car. To be completely honest, I've never pooped in my car, but I do want to be prepared just in case. So I have an EPP, an emergency pooping plan. If you travel in a car or a van, it's a good idea to have an EPP because you never know when you're gonna to have to go. When I started doing my investigating on how to go about pooping in your car, I found all kinds of little toilet ideas that you can keep in your car to go to the bathroom in. The problem is, is my car is pretty small. I don't have a lot of room for stuff that I might need to use, but 
probably, hopefully won't. But I wanted to be prepared, so I started investigating what other options there were besides little tiny toilets that you put a bag in and do your business in and then throw away. And one of the things I found was this little kit. This is called a toilet in a tube and it is by a company called Clean Waste and it's based in Montana. This little kit is designed for people who do kayaking and canoeing trips as well as hiking. There are places where a lot of people do the hiking and canoeing and kayaking and they don't want all those people leaving little buried surprises in the ground along the route. So they make it a rule that you have to carry out what you carry in and that includes your poo. It's a really good idea but it's a little big for using in the car. It's, it's about as big as one of those portable collapsible toilets. But I will show you what is in this little kit in case you're interested. Inside there are two very heavy duty Ziploc bags. One of them is empty and the other one has something inside it. These are your poop bags. They unfold and voila, here is your poop bag. It has little handles on the sides and it has a dry mixture, a little scoop of it in the bottom to absorb moisture. The other thing that is in this container is a little spray bottle of what they call poo repair, which is basically going to mask the smell of your poo. What they suggest is spraying it on the poo after you go, uh, before you seal it up, and it's just going to cut down on the smell. This is a container that you're going to carry around your used poo bags in. So you take your poo bag, you do your business in it, you seal it up, and it goes into the empty plastic bag. These are quite heavy duty. So you're going to collect your bags of poo in this Ziploc bag. You're going to zip it up. I would advise squishing the air out first before you zip it up. Roll it back up and it's going to go inside of the container. So now there is your bag of poo, which is going to be joined by other bags of poo in that Ziploc bag. And you're going to seal it up inside this container. The instructions say that you can just come back from your trip and throw the whole container into the garbage, but they also say you can reuse the container as many times as you want by cleaning it out, maybe adding a little bit of bleach to the inside and giving the swish around so it doesn't smell, but you can use this over and over again. You can also use these Ziploc bags over and over again. You can't use the little blue poo bags over and over again though. <laughs> it's a neat idea if this is the kind of thing that you are looking for. If you're interested in this, I will leave a link down below, but I don't really think it's necessary. It's a little pricey. I paid $40 Canadian for it. And for what it is, I don't really think it's worth the $40 that I paid for it. But I thought it was kind of a cool idea and I will be using the bags from inside of it in case I need to go. I'm gonna take a couple of the bags and put them into a Ziploc bag and just stick it in the glove box of the car in case I ever need to use them. We don't really need this to be able to poop in our car. If you go grocery shopping, you know what these are. These are just little disposable grocery bags. Well, these ones are disposable, single-use plastic shopping bags. This one is a reusable one that you can get from some Walmarts. We haven't seen them in Canada, but we have seen them down in the States. And when we do, we usually grab a few of them because they're quite heavy duty and they are reusable. It says that they are hand washable and they can be reused up to 125 times. Even if you have to pay five or 10 cents for them, it's worth it because they are really good bags for this particular type of thing. These single use ones are perfect really for using in your car to poop in. They do get holes in them though, so make sure before you use it to poo in, you make sure that there aren't any little holes. If there are holes, I advise double bagging. Now you are doubly protected. What you're going to do, and I'll demonstrate with this one, you're going to take the sides of your bag and you're going to fold them down to make a bowl, a toilet bowl. So now we have a little bowl formed from the bag that will actually stand up all by itself. Holding it over gives it a little bit more strength on the sides, but now you have a little bowl that you can use as a toilet. So now I'm going to do a demonstration of sorts to show you how to use this as a toilet bowl. I have
have my roll of toilet paper because you can't use a pea cloth to poo with and I have my bowl. Make sure my bowl is open and I'm going to slide it underneath. You want to make sure before you start that it's in the right place. And some of us do pee a little bit when we poo, so you want to make sure you got that covered too. Make sure it's far enough back so it's going to catch everything. And lean back on the heels of your feet. You're up on your toes, leaning on the heels of your feet. That's going to keep you from sitting on the bag. So now my bag is in position and I can just go. When I'm done, I use my toilet paper as per usual and I put the toilet paper into the bag as well. Let's pretend this is the poo. It's in the bag. Carefully roll the sides of the bag back up and give it a twist, tie it in a knot. So now we have our bag of poo in our car in the middle of the night. What do we do with it? Well, my plan is to just open up the window or crack open the door a little bit and drop it out on the ground. It's going to be there in the morning when I get up and I will then dispose of it. There are a few ways that you can dispose of it. You can take it to the closest garbage can and throw it in. It's perfectly fine. We throw baby diapers and dog poo in the garbage all the time. Why not our own poo? If you're in the woods and you are using compostable garbage bags, you can actually go out into the woods and dig a hole and bury it. Just make sure that your hole is deep enough so that when you bury your bag, it's covered by at least six inches of soil. You don't want some animal coming along and digging it up. I would even go so far as to put a log or a rock on top of it just to make sure nothing is going to dig it up. I hope you found this information helpful.